met some cool dudes in my time, WRC rally drivers, road racing stars, drifters, but today I'm with Aaron Wheels Fothingham, the man who holds the world record for a double backflip and he does it in a wheelchair. Now that is cool. <laughs> so Aaron, I'd like to welcome you to Ireland. Today we've got a kid coming in from Las Vegas, Nevada by the name of Aaron Fotheringham and he's a, a wheelchair athlete. To see a guy like this come in, I'm pretty pumped. To this gigantic ramp, this thing is massive. Uh, everyone's just worried if I can even make it down the ramp, but uh, I think if I have the speed for it, I'm just gonna throw for a flip. <laughs> if it's okay with you guys, I think I just wanna go for it. Just do it, yeah. Yeah, bud, see you at the bottom. We'll, we'll take you out. Wow! That was the most ridiculous thing I might have ever seen. That kid's sick. Wow. It wasn't that bad on the way down. Is it? I'm gonna do a flip over this one. <laughs> so for any of the Irish Sun readers who don't know all about you and what you do, could you tell me how you started uh, wheelchair motocross or WCMX for short? Uh, yeah, I, uh, well, as a kid I was always watching X Games mm -hmm. and, you know, I had an older brother who was into extreme sports. You sure. Know, he uh, loved riding his bike and stuff and so just always looking up to my older yeah. brother, you know. As, as you do. And yeah. so he took me to the park one day and helped mm -hmm. me get to the top of a ramp. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to help me or hurt me. Yeah, like, what would your parents say to that? You know? <laughs> I mean, they were cool. Yeah. Right? So. That's how that's how it all began. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's the? I mean, how do you sort of psych yourself up to drop into a ramp on the winter? I mean, obviously you're going to get hurt in the process. Yeah, I mean, you know, you kind of start small and work yeah. your way up, but at some point you got to just, you know, go down the big ramp, and that gets your heart pumping. So. And your book, or your sorry, your uh, wheelchair, it's obviously modified to sort of do all these jumps and stuff. What way? Who, who makes it? On, on, yeah. I think there's a few heavy welds, so yeah, it's just for a yeah. for of punishment. It, it's ready, you know, to take on some abuse. But uh, my friend Mike Box, okay. uh, we've been, you know, building chairs together. And he's been building my chairs since I was nine years old. Wow. So you know, I trust my life in his yeah. hands. And how many of these do you damage them much, or is this? <laughs> Um, I mean, they, they hold up a lot better okay. now because we've, you know, gone through the research and development. Sure. I've been the guinea pig for yeah. years, but um, now we've got a chair that's holding up really well. Excellent. So, I've seen you actually grinding on the chair, you know, mm -hmm. doing skateboard and stuff on your trucks. So, where, I mean, are these, is this aluminium? How, how does yeah. that sort of... That's aluminum, but uh, right down here is uh -huh. where I grind. So, right down there and then underneath there's a couple more tubes. Sweet. Hit the rails on yeah. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, uh, so you're the first person in the world to do a double backflip on a wheelchair. Now, I mean, I would be absolutely petrified if I was trying to do a double backflip into a swimming pool. Never mind into, uh, or sorry, off the Negro Circus ramp. How did that? Was it uh, Travis Pastrana that you met? Did he get you involved in Negro Circus and stuff? Or yeah, um, well, I was, you know, I've been riding since I was eight, and yeah. then. I Kind of just kept putting videos on YouTube and trying to get it out there sure. more. And then uh, one day I got an email from one of the producers okay. from Nitro Circus, and he invited me to come out to practice and try and go down yeah. the big ramp. And, I, uh, don't it, man. <laughs> I don't know. It was scary. <laughs> I mean, that's some height. That's some height up. I mean, you don't um, like looking over the no, side. I, of that I, wouldn't, thing. I wouldn't think so. Oh, you've nailed the double backflip. And I've seen you done a front flip as well. How do you actually? I can understand. I've seen a video where you were explaining that you know you pull back to get the back foot to the transition. Mm -hmm. well, how do you then when you're where you're going sort of that way and gravity is forcing you around? Do you actually front flip? How do you how do you get the spin on? Yeah, you know, well the front flip was always kind of scary one yeah. because you're going like head first uh -huh. at some point, but um. You just, I just kind of put my hands above my head. Right, okay. right when the front wheels come off the lip, you throw all your weight forward, and it it comes around beautifully sometimes. So you're actually letting go of your chair as well, yeah? Yeah, you doing? just kind of throw it, and you kind of, in that rotation, you're kind of blind for a while because you're waiting to see the landing uh -huh. come around, and then when you see, when you see it, then you kind of open up. Uh, I seen probably in X Games 10 or something, Travis done the first 
backflip on a motocross bike, and I thought, right, that's it. We, you can't better that. And now <laughs> guys are doing, you know, backflips with all the all the little tricks, can cans, and different things, and letting go and <laughs> stuff that's totally amazing. So, what is your next? What What are you secretly working on? Is your next big trick? How can you beat a double backflip? Because <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, it's a good well, part of what you already do. I mean, it's kind of unlimited. It's like when you land one trick, then yeah. you're like, whoa, you know, everything's okay. possible. Sure. So, you know, I'm this year I'm really just kind of working hard and working on developing some bigger tricks. Sweet. I look forward to seeing that. So, obviously, big tricks, you're going to have big falls and, and stuff. What sort of injuries have you sort of ended up with over the years? Uh, I've had a good amount of head smacks. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I try to avoid that, um, but sometimes I also injure the shoulders a yeah. bit, and uh, I bruised my ribs before. But okay. I've been fairly lucky with and these types of things. If you do injure your arm tends that you out for a long time until your arms sort of um, repair and you're back in, the, back in the saddle, so to speak? Well, uh, we have really good physios on okay. tour, so you know they kind of work on your shoulders and we actually, they can tape it up, okay. so it, you know, it right. doesn't hurt too bad. It's all downhill when yeah. you're at the top. The part I'm the most excited about, though, is, the, is this next part, and it's Aaron Fotheringham. Wheels, he's, uh, he's tried the flip, I think, three times now. He's yet to land it, but I got a good feeling about tonight. I think he's going to stick it tonight. Are you into cars then at all? I mean, do you sort of, you like your... I mean, I love my trucks, trucks and stuff, more, more like off-road type. Well, so what would be your ideal, your dream truck then, if you could have oh, BJ Baldwin and Monster Energy? He's yeah, actually yeah. a buddy of mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Lives in Vegas. Yeah. I love all of yeah. BJ's trucks. If I could have any of them, I would take any of them. <laughs> you should, you should set, up, set up and get a YouTube video, video with that, though. Uh, have you ever, Travis then made the transition from freestyle motocross and he's doing a bit of motorsport or whatever, would you ever think of sort of maybe I would definitely love to race off road. Yeah. I mean, one day if I ever get the money or get a truck or sure. something. But till then, I'll just keep hitting the parks. So I'm, and are you, you're coming in here to Belfast first, and then we're doing Dublin and Cork. Mm -hmm. Are you traveling full time around the world then with different places or stuff? How often do you get back home? And um, well. I mean that tour doesn't start till June third, okay. but then it goes through July third, and uh, so before then I'll be getting ready for the tour and kind of practicing right. and trying to get my equipment ready. Yeah, well, I, I can't wait, and um, hopefully I will definitely be there. I'll be there in Belfast, maybe Dublin. I don't know. I'll come there, but I can't. I can't wait to see you. I mean, I love watching the freestyle motocross guys and you know even BMX guys, but then um, I heard all about you and I just was totally, you know, I take take my hat off. Hopefully you're. You are the man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you soon.